Hey guys, today we're gonna to be talking about EDC, which stands for Everyday Carry, and these are the items that I typically have with me on a day-to-day -day basis, the essentials that I like to have, you know, to just be prepared for anything that might come my way. And it's been a little while since I've done one of these videos. I've been trying out some new gear that I'm excited to share with you. Before jumping in, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Danny, and on this channel, we love reviewing popular travel and everyday carry gear. If you like these types of videos and you'd be interested in seeing more, please consider subscribing as it helps the channel out a lot. And I also wanna give a shout out to Huckberry that has provided some of the items that I'm gonna be featuring in this video. I've been a big fan of Huckberry's for a long time now. The original air travel pack that I featured on this channel was purchased via Huckberry. I've also purchased several bags from Evergoods, Bellroy. I'm a big fan of their clothing line. I have some Flint and Tinder pieces. So, you know, it's a site that I've enjoyed using for a long time. So I'm excited to be able to partner up with them on a few upcoming videos. Um, you know, they have fast shipping, easy returns, great customer service, and an awesome selection of the type of gear that we love to feature on this channel. So if you like the items that you see here or you're interested in, you know, other similar gear, definitely check Huckberry out. And so with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump in. First up, we have the pocket knife. And at the moment, I am using the Carter XL from the James brand. And I've always been a fan of this company's aesthetic. They just have a really kind of modern, minimal take on everyday carry accessories. The Carter is a knife that was released originally in a smaller version, and I tried that out, but it felt just a little bit too small for what I typically like to carry. And so when they released the XL, it really spoke to me. It has a little bit of a longer blade and handle, uh, but it still has the same aesthetic and materials. You have a stainless steel blade, a very light handle. It's got some really nice action. It's very fun to open and close. It's super smooth. You have a thumb stud at the top that makes it very easy to open whether you're using it right or left-handed. It has an access lock that really feels very secure. It doesn't feel like this is gonna accidentally close on you or anything like that. Super easy to release. And I really love the deep carry pocket clip that's included with this. You can reverse this, again, if you're ready or lefty or you know, depending on where you wanna carry this. And one of my favorite things about this is this clip as it doesn't feel like it's gonna tear my jeans or chinos apart. That's something that I'm always worried about with my pocket knives is that pulling it in and out of my pocket just kinda of wears down the pocket. So this is very, very smooth, this clip here. It just you know, slides in very easily, much less friction than some of the other pocket knives that I've featured in the past. And so with the aesthetic, the, the size, and the versatility of this pocket knife, whether I'm cutting boxes, or you know, just using it for any other random task that I normally wanna carry a pocket knife for, this has been fantastic to use so far. Up next, we have the wallet. And the one that I have here is the Apollo wallet from Andar, which has a really interesting layout. I've gone back and forth between a number of wallets over the past year, you know, kind of jumping around between something that's really slim and simple and then something that gives me a little bit more flexibility, which is why I currently am with the Andar wallet. Um, this, you know, tries to walk a really nice balance between like a card holder wallet and a bifold. So it's not quite as bulky as a traditional bifold. It has plenty of slots for all of your cards. I like that it has a pull tab similar to some of the other wallets that I featured on the channel to make it very easy to access frequently used cards. It has a slot on the front for my most used credit card. Uh, it has a little kind of thumb area where you can pop it up, very easily grab it. You have a dedicated ID area on the inside. So if you need to flash that very quickly, no, no issues there. And then you have a few other card slots on one side for those cards that you wanna have with you but you might not use as regularly. Um, so still providing flexibility but not getting overwhelming as far as the size. But then one of the interesting things about this wallet in particular is that it also has the money clip, which I don't normally have a ton of cash with me, but as I've been traveling more, I've realized it's super helpful to have an easy way to access a few bills, whether it's for tipping or just paying in areas that don't accept a credit card or Venmo at the moment. So. Really love the idea of having the dedicated money clip. This also has RFID protection. And again, just still maintaining a pretty slim overall silhouette so that I could toss this into my front or back pocket and not really have a, you know, a huge bulky wallet to deal with. The next component of my EDC is a key management solution. And at the moment, I am using the Melville Carabiner from the James brand. Like the Carter XL that I featured earlier in the video, this has a very sleek, minimal, and interesting aesthetic. It also has a great build quality. It's made out of aluminum, super lightweight. I've tried out a number of different kind of key management solutions over the past few years from Orbit Key, from KeySmart, 
They're always very cool, but I typically come back to a very simple carabiner that I could toss into a pocket, clip onto my belt loop, or toss into a backpack. And so for those purposes, the Melville carabiner works great. It's really lightweight with its aluminum body, but it feels super durable. I really like the size of it. It's thin. It has dual compartments, so you can place like a key loop into here and it's gonna be separate from the main carabiner so you don't have to worry about it accidentally falling out. Very smooth kind of open and close mechanism on the carabiner so it's very easy to get it on and off a belt loop or your bag. And then I really like that this also has a bottle opener on the carabiner so it's always great to have some multi-purpose items. Um, so lots of versatility on this. It feels really durable. I love the aesthetic and so far it's been a great way to just kind of keep my keys handy for whenever I need them. Although I use an Apple Watch from time to time, there's something about a classic watch that still appeals to me, particularly in such a digital age. There's so many things you have to charge and kind of keep track of that having an old school watch can be something of a relief. Also, while traveling, it's something that is reliable. It doesn't attract as much attention. Um, I don't have to worry about charging it. And so at the moment, the watch that I've been using a lot is this Timex, which is actually solar powered. So the battery doesn't need to be replaced as long as it's exposed to light. It has a pretty minimal aesthetic, kind of old school vibe that's gonna match up well with a variety of environments and outfits. It's not super expensive, so I don't have to worry about it potentially getting you know damaged or stolen when I'm traveling or abroad. And, uh, and it just does the job of telling time. I really like that it also has um, dials that illuminate in the dark and also has um, a date marker as well. I don't really worry about that too much. I don't always keep it up to date, but you know, as far as telling the time, staying charged and not having to worry about replacing a battery, this does a great job. And then I just really love the way that it looks with anything that I'm typically wearing. One of the items that has been a must have as part of my EDC for many years now is a pen. And this is something I never thought I would carry around with me that much, you know, given that we have our phones and we can take notes in a variety of apps. However, there's something about a pen that's always been reassuring to have, and there's been more than a few occasions where I've actually had to have a pen. When traveling, it's always, you know, a given that I'm gonna have to fill out some sort of custom forms or, you know, just something while going through security. So it's always been very convenient to have it, particularly, you know, post COVID, it's always nice to not have to worry about whether a pen has been sterilized or not. And then just when I'm out and about, there's many occasions when a pen will come in handy. I still have to sign checks sometimes or just, you know, jot notes down. I don't always have a field notes notebook with me in my pocket per se, but I typically have one in my bag. So, you know, paired with a pen, this is always a nice way to take notes, to jot down to do's, and to just kind of get away from my screen for a little while, it's a little less distracting. And the pen has also kind of started to serve as a fidget toy replacement. As somebody who fidgets a lot, I really like the idea of a bolt action pen. That's currently what I have here. This is the Ridge Bolt Action Pen, which I've enjoyed using for a while now. I have it in a few different materials and colors, and it's just super, super fun to play with. The bolt action mechanism works well. It's easy to get you know, your device ready to write, and then just kind of to have it in my hand back and forth. Um, it helps me focus and kind of eases anxiety, and it just is a really nice pen. I also like that this is a full-size pen. I use a lot of pocket pens like the Fisher Space Pen, which is great to kind of save some space in your pocket. It's still kind of my go-to for travel, but for EDC, when I'm taking maybe some longer form notes, or I'm just not as worried about space and I really want to have something that's comfortable to write with, this full-size bolt action pen from the Ridge has been fantastic. The next item, which has been a mainstay in my EDC for a few years now and that I never thought I would use as much as I do, is a flashlight. At the moment, I am using this flashlight from Mech Army, which is really compact but has a lot of output for its size. It can go up to 1100 lumens. Flashlight is always great to have for you know when I'm walking my dog, if I'm doing something in the car at night and I just can't kind of see down if I drop something. Um, and it's just, it's something that I always end up pulling out and I prefer it to using the flashlight on my phone, which you know drains the battery. It's usually a little bit harder to hold onto your phone securely, so I've almost had several drops. And then, you know, if I'm abroad or somewhere that you know I don't want to pull out my phone, but I still need some light, it's just great to have a compact flashlight to be able to use when needed. So really nice size on this. I can toss it in my pocket. It has a clip so I can attach it to a bag or my pocket. It has a rechargeable battery. Um, you know, really kind of lightweight. I love how well it fits into your palm. 
doesn't take up a ton of space and then it has a really nice button on the exterior that makes it very easy to turn the light on and off with one hand. You also can activate the various modes that it has depending on how bright you wanna go with the number of times that you click the button. So very easy to use, very very durable. It's you know, water resistant, drop resistant. And so as far as flashlights that don't take up a lot of space, this has been excellent to use so far. And then the last item that I have here is a pair of sunglasses, which is pretty critical for me as I live in a fairly sunny state and I have sensitive eyes. So if I go outside without sunglasses, I tend to get headaches. And I have a lot of different sunglasses. The ones that I've been using most recently are this pair from Walden Eyewear. They're called The River. They have a few different models. Um, this is a brand that Huckberry has been featuring on their site recently. And I can see why, you know, they have a very kind of timeless aesthetic really nice silhouettes. They have a few different colors and styles on the site that you can check out, but the river really stood out to me. This reminds me of some of the kind of classic Ray-Ban type sunglasses that I've used over the years. Um, so, you know, really simple, matches up with a lot of different outfits. Um, and, you know, something that has been comfortable to wear. They're pretty lightweight. They offer great protection against UV rays and, you know, anything that you want you know, when you're going out into the sun to keep your eyes safe. Um, these handle it well and they include a really nice leather kind of carrying case to keep them protected when you're not wearing them um, They feel really durable nice hinges again great aesthetic And so, you know sunglasses are something that's you know preferences are gonna vary widely depending on your style um, But if you're looking for something minimal and that's gonna you know work well for many years to come These are gonna be great to check out and so that's it. That is my current EDC setup. Hopefully this video was helpful. If you have any questions on the items featured in this video or any suggestions for similar items to check out, as always, please let me know in the comments. And I'll make sure to link in the description to some of the other EDC videos that I've done if you wanna see how my setup has changed over the past year. I've also done some dedicated videos on different EDC categories, such as pocket knives, wallets, keychains. So make sure to check those out if you wanna see more EDC gear and also, make sure to check out Huckberry if you want to get any of the items that I featured or just to see what other awesome gear they have. So I want to thank Huckberry again and to you guys for watching and supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next one.